This is James Hawk, and unfortunately, I've got the GM standing right now. I like the microphones on this side. Yes. I'm so glad you figured this out before the show started. I know, I had so many people. We're starting things off tonight. Christopher Hayden coming out to the ring. Former MPX champion, Christopher Hayden. I believe he held it for like eight minutes. Looks like Hayden might be in trouble tonight as here comes big Scott Murdoch. I do have to agree, Scott Murdoch's been on a tear here until recently with Andy Dalton, dirty Andy Dalton, getting under his skin in such, such ways like the chop challenge we saw several weeks ago where Andy Dalton took a cookie sheet underneath his jacket, which is absolutely brilliant. But then last week when Scott Murdoch gets himself disqualified, I mean, he's gotten underneath Scott Murdoch's skin. This is amazing. It's true, but it does make you wonder, where is Andy Dalton tonight? He's taking a rest tonight. But we're going to we see Scott Murdoch trying to get into the ring and take advantage. But Hayden right on top of things and beating down Scott Murdoch to start things off. Huge show attack by Scott Murdoch taking Hayden down. I love Scott Murdoch. He's an awesome guy. Wonderful, you know, competitor. He just really, you know, brings everything he can to the ring at every moment. Oh! Murdoch setting him up in the corner. Oh! Huge, huge chop from Scott Murdoch. And we've both been on receiving ends of those chops before. Those are not fun to feel. Yeah, no, no, not, not good times. Scott Murdoch with the early advantage in this match. Nice scoop slam by Scott Murdoch. Body slam. That's okay. No, I meant spit out though, but that's but your spit tastes delicious. I don't know what to tell you. Scott Murdoch hitting two big elbow drops there. And that's a big third one. That's damn near 300 pounds. I mean, the, the, his athletic is And only a two count. But that yeah, really I, surprises me. I do have to agree with you though. He is he shows a lot of athletic ability for for a big man like himself. Crowd solidly behind Murdoch here, calling already for Murdoch smash, which is quite possibly my most favorite move that Scott Murdoch does. And another huge job by Scott Murdoch. Well, Hayden probably deserved it. It's fine. Hey, nobody deserves those. Nobody in their right mind deserves those. Yeah, Christopher Hayden. Does. Shoulder shrug from Scott Murdoch into the midsection of Hayden, and again another one. Hayden needs something here just to just to get the advantage to go away, and that may have been it right there, able to dodge Murdoch running in for a big charge. Murdoch getting a little ahead of himself there. He, you know, he needs to stay on the opponent, not trying to make all that distance in the ring. You know, he really needs to stay close and, and, and you know take the fight to Hayden, not allow Hayden to get away. Because all Hayden has to do is start chopping that big redwood down, and you know Scott's in trouble. Setting him up. Nice neck breaker from Christopher Hayden. Going to go for a cover here. Only able to get a two count, though. Now Hayden needs to take advantage here. I mean, he really needs to beat down this big man here in Scott Murdoch. I mean, he needs to take away the power game from Murdoch here. That's hard to do with a guy like Scott Murdoch. I mean, he can only attack him in so many different directions. And sometimes it just makes Murdoch angry. As we see right there with a punch to the midsection, but Hayden able to shut that down real quick. Now Hayden setting Murdoch up in the corner. A huge, huge back elbow in the corner to Murdoch. Now he's going to put the foot to his, his neck and choke him, utilizing that five count that the referee's got to give. I understand that. Why? I mean, I do the five count, but I mean, why are we playing on the rules? You just bend the rules, but you don't break them. And, and you have to admit that Hayden is good at bending the rules, but not completely breaking them. I don't have to admit anything you say. Snapmare. Yes, that was a snapmare. Okay. Snapmare into a not, uh, arm ringer. Yeah, close enough. Wearing Murdoch down here. Working on the shoulder. Maybe he's working on that shoulder so that it... It negates the, the, the power that he can admit when he goes for that doctor bomb at the end. I know that's, that's not a bad strategy for Hayden. Yeah. 
But uh, Murdoch has a lot of ways to put a, to put a guy away. I mean, there's really, you know, there's there's all sorts of, of big, powerful moves that Murdoch can do. I mean, yeah, he loses his arm, that's fine. He's still got legs. You know, he's still got his own body. You know, Murdoch is, is strong from every facet. Aiden whipping Murdoch into the other corner. Oh, a huge spear for Murdoch. Trouble here, taking the Murdoch smash. That does not look pleasant. No, that does not look pleasant at all. And Hayden needs some kind of a break to roll out or something to gain his bearings after the the Murdoch smash. Murdoch set up for the doctor bomb there. Almost had it. Oh, huge gut to the midsection. Gut to the midsection. That may do it. Murdoch with a huge victory over Christopher Hayden. That is a big win. I think it's a big win not only not only now but in for his confidence. Knowing it, he's, you know he's going to meet up with Andy Dalton again sometime down the line, and you got to figure that that may have boosted his confidence just a little bit. Yeah, you know Murdoch. I'll give you a little bit of a secret. We're not going to feel insecure. Guys like Andy Dalton don't score for Doc. He knows the underhand practice that Dalton is willing to go for. And Murdoch has that strong head going into this. A big win over a former champion like this could give him that chance. Aiden's still down in the middle of the ring. Just, I mean, just laying there. And the back of all the stuff that you're around with. You have to wonder what kind of confidence now Christopher Hayden has. I mean, he lo lost to Joe, uh, Joe Angelo Garcia, and now he's lost to Scott Murdoch. I mean, what does this do for a former champion's confidence? But it's got to shake him a little bit. At least, at least, you know, a little bit. He's got to start wondering about his own ability, you know, whether he's...